Hi. Today we will see how to install the EEZ power supply firmware. Uh, since the power supply is using Arduino as a control board to program and monitor all functionality, uh, we can evaluate some firmware functionality even without having completed power supply. Uh, for normal operation of power supply, Arduino board uh, has to be connected to so-called Arduino shield. Uh, which is connected with the rest of the To upload firmware into Arduino board, we'll need Arduino IDE. So let's start from the beginning and get the latest IDE from the Arduino site. Arduino IDE is available for major operating system and in our case we'll choose Linux. Uh, we have to extract downloaded package. Okay. And also run a small utility that will add Arduino icon on the desktop. So it looks like this. When you click on the icon, and we have Arduino ID up and running. The next thing what we will download it's a power supply firmware we can go here and from here we can go to the github where is a different repositories and under this one we can see required files. We will use a so called master branch where currently milestone 1 version is available and uh, using download button we can download wait under finished nice Uh, this package <coughs> also requires to be and we also need to extract this package firmware package contains few folders and for this presentation we will need sketch and libraries and now we can select which Arduino board will be used uh, firmware works with both Mega and Due and for this presentation uh, we will use Mega we will also need some USB cable for uploading and also for powering the board here's a small indicator for power on on the ID side we have to select the board to for that we just need to go to tools board and that's it for our mega and uh, to check if board is connected and properly recognized uh, we can use port option under tools and see that something is connected the next thing that we can try to do is to simply open firmware sketch 
and using verify button to see is it ready for upload to the board and if everything is fine ID should not report any error message in this area so first open our sketch okay and verify oops something is missing yes some library is missing before we continue with power supply firmware upload uh, maybe we can see what will happen if we try to upload any of the sketches that comes with ID and should work without problem blink it's one of them and compiling done verify it works okay we got some information that looks promising uh, now we can see what will happen if upload option is selected now we have some problem this time something with communication over serial port Uh, we can try to follow this link and yes this is something what we need to do for that we'll need terminal once again so Okay, and let's go back. Now we probably need to log out and log in. We are back from log out and log in, and let's try it once again. Nice, it works now. And yeah, it's running. So now we can proceed with our firmware sketch. Yes, so now we can see that something else is missing, and now yeah, we need to go back to issue with libraries. We need to copy everything located in this folder. to Arduino library folder like this and we need to restart Arduino now let's check if everything is ok with libraries in include library under sketch we can see three new added libraries what is required for firmware once again go to verify there is some errors but it seems that it's fine and now we can go with upload and we'll see some activity here we don't need this one anymore upload takes some time so be patient and here's the progress
done uploading. Good. Firmware is now uploaded and we can check if remote control using serial communication over USB can be established. And for that purpose we can use any serial terminal application and one of them is also included in Arduino ID. If we go to Tools Serial Monitor we can open one and we automatically get some response from our board. Uh, with current configuration of firmware it will also waiting for different peripherals. One of them is Ethernet which is of course not present on the board alone so we'll need to wait for about 30 seconds to get timeout. In the meantime uh, we can check this parameter here because for the skippy commands we need to have uh, at the end of every command uh, some type of terminator character no line ending it's not good for that purpose so let's we can go with any of this maybe with this okay initial self test is finished and we get can get some information for the for debug purposes and here we can start to enter various skippy commands of course uh, we are limited to not so many uh, because a real hardware is not presented uh, but we can try some of the system command like this one and we will get info st string or this one it's uh, no it's type of skippy sister And another one clear and so on. So this is uh, all for this time. In some of the next video uh, we'll present how it's possible to use firmware software simulator where you can test every aspect of the firmware that means any type of all of currently supported Skippy commands can be tested using a software simulator. Thank you for watching.